Jordan Morrison Racing. I love cars, motorbikes, anything with an engine. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and good evening from a very sunny farm. Not your usual place to find cars, but we're here today and I'm coming meeting my friend Wes who's bought a standard road car and we'll be turning it into a race car. Um, but what we're going to do and what I'm going to do is hopefully be part of the build and we're going to build this race car to be competitive. Um, if you look back from my previous videos you'll see Wes is part of MLP Developments and they had the Mark II Golfs. Well they're now venturing in to this other vehicle which will be quite interesting. Let's go and have a look. You might want a bit of recliner. It's, uh... What you've got to be careful is because there's nothing behind it. I'm not just going to shoot back all the time. Oh, are you, are you comfortable? Yeah. It's not yeah, racing, right, is it? Not, right. Right. Yeah, they've got the hugging bit, yeah. haven't they? So. I thought I might put them in the back of the transit. So obviously we're sat on these for a reason, aren't we? Yeah. These have come out of this lovely road car. That's right. Um, and we're welcome to, I'd say, Man Cave. Would you say Man Cave? Yeah, it's getting that way. This, this is your place, isn't it? Yeah. And um, what this leads into, and obviously the introduction of me turning up in the middle of nowhere, everyone, is I'm here to meet Wes, who was part of MLP development, if you look back at the previous videos. And they bought this road car, which is going to tell us a bit about and what race series they're hoping to enter. Um, the plan for future really is for us to vlog this and create some episodes of a full build. So today will just be an introductory about the car and also the parts involved. But first we'll get into it and yeah, we'll just have your take on it. I mean, what made you buy the car first of all? Um, well, we've, uh, we've watched the Citroen series for six months now and I think initially we thought it was a bit of a joke right and they built two cars and then they had like 12 cars on the grid so it's been running for 24 months and they had a hundred cars on the grid at Silverstone so it's got to a point where you you know you need to take it seriously yeah yeah that sounds pretty serious hundred cars on the grid there especially at Silverstone F1 circuit it's pretty epic that isn't it that's yeah. right yeah it's, it, it, a, a pretty amazing sight really to see what was going on. So this is a new baby then isn't it? We, we bid for this car on a on an internet auction site um, and it had a little bit of damage on it but you know it was in relatively good condition. It's a one owner car with less than 30,000 miles on um, and, and at the end of the auction we paid less than a thousand pounds for it. Right, so you basically bought this car, which you're going to turn into a fully fledged race car, and you've only bought it for under a thousand pounds, haven't you? That's which right, is yeah. An absolute bargain, because when you mention racing and race cars, everyone thinks it's a sort of top end, don't they? Yeah, but absolutely. For me, and I've had a look at, uh, done a bit of research into the scene ones, it is a sort of budget way into racing, but it's becoming more and more popular, and for me, it's more and more competitive as well because everyone's at a sort of level playing field, aren't they? Yeah, I think that what opened our eyes to it is that the C1 challenge is so well supported. So you go to the meetings and there's people there selling parts and they, these um, really strict regulations and, and they're, they're enforcing them all the time. So it makes the racing fair. Um, it's backed by Citroen themselves as well, I think, so that, that the actual manufacturers involved. Yeah, so they'll release things like pictures and diagrams of the cars that you wouldn't normally be able to get. We've got Nan Kang on board who produces a specific tyre just for this race series. Yeah, I think I think you've seen them and that was it's got C1 literally etched into the tyre right, as well, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. And in terms of like the ECU, the ECUs are all sealed, aren't they? That's right, yeah. Um, the so, sealed, the ECUs are sealed. So would you say that the racing is more driver ability? Absolutely, yeah. I think with endurance racing, there's some driver ability and some luck and okay. preparation that, that they'll always come into play in it. And especially with the endurance, there's a lot of technical sides that people don't realise, so working out your fuel amount and the Absolutely, best sides yeah. of fuel. But one thing that I would say about this car is we've not 
going to build it to go and compete. We're, we're going there for one reason, and that's to be at the front of the grid and to win races. Well, you sound pretty serious about this. So. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. this is a we're going to have a bit of fun. We're just building a, a race car to have a bit of fun. You want this car to be as competitive as possible, really? Yeah, I think with a potential advertising medium like a C1 Challenge and the fact that it's got 24-hour TV coverage and things like that. It's quite a big, yeah. Yeah, we need to screen what we're doing, who we are, and, and get it out there. So what's the plans for the car colour and livery? Have you got any ideas yet, or will that all come? I think because it's such a nice car, it'll get polished and... Um, they'll it's be... actually in very good nick, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's, a, it's a lovely little car, yeah. There's not many 59 plates that have got about 30,000 miles on no, these no. days either. No, not at all. I know when we were looking for a car, they were saying that if they've got so over 75,000 on, really, the engines aren't going to last too well. So right. we bought the lowest mileage one we could to try and just you know keep, yeah. it, keep it as it should be. Um, we'll obviously introduce some bright green on it somewhere. And, you're 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 addicted to that colour, aren't you? Yeah. Company colours, yeah. <laughs> company colours. So what does all this cost? Obviously, we're looking at about a grand for the car, and you know, just for people that are watching that are thinking, oh, I'd love to do that. I think I could get into C one racing. Um, you know, what 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 are you looking at for a competitive car as a collective? A, a competitive car to buy is about six thousand quid. Right. We will put this car together. For four thousand three hundred, we could have put it together cheaper, but we're building a car to do a job, so it, it's going to be as good as it can be. Like you said, so you could have done it a bit cheaper. So for anyone that's thinking about doing it themselves, they can do it cheaper than this. Yeah. But like you said, you you want to be up there in the field, don't you? That that sort of lands, yeah. isn't it? At the end of the day. And you're not only doing it to race yourself, are you? It's doing it from a sort of business perspective, isn't it? Yeah, say. that's right. I mean, MLP has been running the two golfs now for. Well, we've been running these two for the last four seasons, and then previous to that, we've been involved in the golf racing for over ten years. Right. Um, the Citroen is about going forward. Now we we put a lot of time and effort into preparation and things like that. And we need to make some money to make what we're doing sustainable. Yeah. So we've gauged some interest um, around the paddock and, and in other areas and people that we know. And we feel that we've got, we, we could feel the good team of drivers yeah. for the car. Um, we were excited about the prospect of you know getting into a new race car yeah. and, and trying something new. And like I said, this will be a fresh build for him, won't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, prior to you racing, you're going to have to iron out any niggles with the car yeah. and get some testing done as well. That's right. But yeah. from there, you're pretty much good to go, aren't you? Yeah. Um, and with you already having that background and experience, you're not novices into racing, which is good. You've got some experience there. So I do think this car will do very well once it's finished. It's quite interesting because if I brought anyone here, especially my mates, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to look at this potential race car, what would everyone's first thought be? It'd be like, no. Oh. Yeah, they do look a bit more like a shopping car than a race car. It does, doesn't it? When this car is built, as you'll see in the, in the video to come, it, it will be a serious piece of equipment. Well, I've seen you sent me a video when it was of the uh, YouTube start at Silverstone, and I have never seen anything like that. And it's like wacky races on steroids or something, isn't it? Because yeah. they just the grid just keeps on coming and coming, and you're like, when are they going to end? When are they going to end? They're never ending. Um, and then you can see how competitive it actually is as well. Yeah, so. the, to, for 99 cars to come past takes like over a minute, you know, off the start, but it's just a, it's a spectacle really. So we got onto just briefly equipment for the car. Yeah. Um, you know, there is a massive spec list that you can buy for this car and that's straight from C1 Racing Club, isn't it? Some of it's from C1 Racing Club, yeah, and then with Source, they, they'll be specific in telling you exactly what part numbers you can use for parts, okay. whether they're selling them to you or not. Right. So you, you then have to go out about just finding the best price. Sourcing your own, yeah. 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 So you can have a bag from them direct or source your own yeah. as long as it's within the specifications what they want for racing. Yeah. Um, you're good to go, really. And I believe in the man cave, you've got the car and you've also got the parts ready, haven't you? Yeah, we've got all the so parts. So you've sourced them all, yeah. so should we go and have a look? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Cool, let's go and have a gander. 